So, yes, it's, this your miles mode is a bit different. Um, and I'm here with heavy heart. What what was my heart? It was seen to a beautiful young uh, Israeli, uh, second generation here in, in America of Israel, singing Hebrew. So that is, that was beautiful. Thank you, Noan guy. Okay, so seven years ago, whew, I'm shaking. On the eve of the Holocaust Memorial Day. Israel's Deputy Chief of Staff, Major General Yair Golan, spoke at Israel's Mesoa Institute of the Holocaust Studies. He called for national introspection on Holocaust Memorial Day and warned that processes with sale that happened in Germany in the 30s and the 40s are budding in Israel today, which is, of course, still happening seven years after his uh, speech. And I'm quoting, the Holocaust must lead us to a deep reflection on the responsibility for, uh, responsibilities of leadership and on the quality of society. Because if there is something that scares us about the memory of the Holocaust, it is identifying processes that occurred in Germany 70, 80, and 90 years ago and finding evidence of their presence here among us today. For Major General Yair Golan, Holocaust Memorial Day was an opportunity for introspection, a day for national soul researching or searching. And in the national soul searching, we must include some unsettling phenomena. National days, like today, are an important time for national introspection. Yom Ha'atzma'ut is no different. We have to ask ourselves, what is the purpose of our return to our land? What we should sanctify and what not? What is right to praise, what is not? And most importantly, how we should fulfill our role as a light unto the nation and as a model society. We are fighting for Israel, which is shaped in the light of its declaration of independence based on freedom, justice, and peace as envisioned by the prophets of Israel. We are fighting for Israel which guarantees freedom of religion, freedom of conscience, language, education, and culture. We are fighting for democracy, which was shaped in the blood of Israel's pioneers and defenders. And this fight is our duty. I will finish with the words of the Israeli poet Ehud Manor. It's the song uh, they just uh, performed. We cannot keep silent in light of how our homeland changed its face, and we will not quit trying to remind her, Israel, until she opens her eyes. Thank you.